This video gonna be for anybody who feel like they can never relax. You feel like you always stuck in this work, 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 work cycle. I definitely done felt that before. I definitely been in that cycle, stuck in that cycle. And it low key feel paralyzing after you done realize that you're in that cycle and you try to fix it and you can't find your way up out of that cycle. So today's video, I'm gonna try to help you out that cycle, but you have to commit. You have to commit not only to making that change but you have to commit to yourself you have to really appreciate and love yourself enough to take the steps to get there and i'm gonna give you all of the secrets all of the tea all of the little info that you're gonna need to get up out of that cycle because i know how paralyzing it feels to always feel like you're working and even when you do have time to relax you can't quite get to that level of comfort that you really want to um before we get into the video, make sure y'all hit the like button and subscribe because it do help other people find this content. And if it's helpful to you, obviously it's going to be helpful to somebody else. So just make sure y'all hit the like button. It's free. It don't take much time. And hit the subscribe so that you don't miss this motivation, so you don't miss all of these downloads, all of this information that I got for you. So I found myself being stuck in this cycle of work, work, work. And then whenever I would get some free time, I would always find myself doing some other type of work or I wouldn't be able to really sit in the comfort I would always be thinking about this bill I got to pay or oh I got to do this at work or I got to do this I got to do that you know what I'm saying and I feel like a lot of us get into that cycle of feeling like we always at work even when we are not at work even when we go home or even when we go hang out with friends we stuck in our head thinking about all of the things that we are gonna have to do in the future and that's honestly not only paralyzing but very very annoying I hate feeling annoyed with myself and I know you hate feeling annoyed with yourself so we about to fix this problem right here right now the number one thing you got to understand is right now whether you are conscious of it or not you are in a survival mind state and a survival mind state is where you are so stuck on trying to survive that you can only enjoy fun a little bit because your brain wants to survive and you be wanting to thrive but you so stuck in thinking about surviving that you can't even jump to that thrive mindset and the title of this video is going to be you can't relax because you're not working hard enough and i know that low-key sound like a contradiction you always feel like you're working hard but you can't relax but the thing is you are not focused enough you are not working hard enough in the right areas you know that saying where it say work smarter not harder that's what we got to get to we got to become more structured in our life we got to become more conscious of the decisions that we making because a lot of the times the reason that you can't feel comfortable the reason that you can't feel relaxed whenever you do have those little pockets in your schedule to relax is because you didn't really focus when you was working you was just working to get to that relaxation rather than working to finish everything that you got to do working to get everything done so that whenever you are relaxing you know it's nothing else to be done right now you know what i'm saying you should work so hard during the day that whenever you get the time during the day to relax your mind not stuck on all of the things that you let linger you know what i'm saying i feel like a lot of the times we do work and we don't focus or really take uh, a lot of pride in our work. So whenever it is time for us to relax, we thinking about other stuff that we could do or other stuff that we didn't do when it was time to work. I'll give you all a good example. You go to school. You got this homework that you got to do. Instead of going home or doing the homework in class, because a lot of the times we could do our homework in class, but we rather talk to our friends. We rather do all of the other stuff rather than just focus and handle business. Your teacher give you homework. Rather than doing this work in class or doing the work as soon as you get home, you play around, you BS, and even though you know that you're gonna have to do that work, you kinda halfway doing the work, halfway having fun, rather than just focusing, finishing the work, and handling your business to where you got the whole rest of the day to have fun, you play around a little bit. Now, whenever it is time for you to actually do that homework, you got those thoughts of, dang, like I ain't gonna be able to really have fun because I just spent so much time doing this and now I gotta focus on this. Your mind is jumbled. Your mind is unorganized because you didn't take the precautions to do everything in steps. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta do the homework, make sure you understand the homework make sure you study make sure you do everything that you don't want to do first that way whenever you go to relax 
you not sitting there thinking about the stuff that you didn't know from the homework. You not sitting there thinking about the, the problems that you might not get right on the test. You not sitting there thinking about, oh, I might need to look over this homework or did I do my homework? When can I do my homework um, before class tomorrow? Like you low key sabotaging yourself if you're not handling your business and you want to have fun before you handle your business. And the best way that I could explain that is whenever you was growing up, especially if you're an adult, whenever you was growing up and your parents made you do your homework before you go outside. Just imagine if you went outside, you d your mama called you back in to do your homework. You come in to do your homework so that you can hurry up and go back outside. You never learn and you never do it the right way because you were so worried about going back outside and hanging with your friends. Now you're in a rush, now you're making mistakes, now you're not focused, your mind jumbled, because half of you want to go outside, half of you want to hurry up and finish this homework. Whereas, if you would have came home, did your homework first, and then went outside, you wouldn't even be thinking about your homework. Because you know that you finished it, you learned everything you needed to know, you already know the information, you could go out there, have fun, and really be stuck in the moment. Really appreciate the moment. And then next, the next day tomorrow, you pick up on schoolwork, you go to school, you go to take that test, and you know everything. Your life was so much more simple, but it's because you had structure. It's because you decided to do what you needed to do first, and then it allowed your spirit, your soul, to relax. Whenever we go throughout our life, we really have to take care of business first and actually be intentional focused schedule everything out it's more important to create a good structured schedule than it is to actually do the stuff because if you got a good schedule if you got if you got good focus then the stuff that you're going to do is going to be more efficient you're going to get it done faster and you're going to learn and actually soak it in a lot easier than if you was had your mind in 50 different places at once. So what I want you to do is, I want you to focus more on creating a structured schedule, being disciplined and know that it's gonna be beneficial. You have to remind yourself, it's gonna be beneficial. I'm doing this for a reason. I'm doing this because I know it's gonna be a reward after. And you actually have to reward yourself for doing the right things because that's how we learn. If you think of a dog, you tell him to sit, you give him a treat, he know now. If I sit, when he tell me to sit, I'm going to get this treat. You have to do that for yourself by creating a structure, creating a schedule. I know creating a schedule sounds boring, this, that, and the other. Create a schedule. It don't have to be perfect. It just got to be pre as precise as you can get it. And then once you create that structure, you need to actually follow your schedule. Trust yourself that you made a good schedule. As you go throughout your life, you will get better at creating schedules and being structured because you're practicing it every single day, every single week. However you want to do it. If you have to do it every day, do it every day. Sit down at nighttime before the next day. Do your schedule before the day. Sit down before nighttime. Create your schedule for tomorrow. Stick to that schedule. Don't get stressed. If you don't complete everything in the time block that you set. If y'all want a video on time block, let me know. But if you don't get everything done, don't stress about it. Just stick to the schedule. And then whenever you create that schedule again the next day, keep in mind that you didn't have enough time. Keep in mind that you didn't do right. And then you adjust, adjust until you get it perfect. And then once you start to get it perfect, bro, I promise you, whenever it's time for you to relax, you're going to really be able to just let go, let loose. And your quality of life is going to skyrocket because you know now after you done put in all of this work, after you done came up with the structure, you done did all of this, you done focused and handled your business, that everything for, for the day is off the plate and you got the rest of the night to relax. You can watch that movie you want to watch. You can play video games. You can talk to whoever you want to talk to. You can do all of that stuff for the rest of the day because you know that at the beginning of the day, you didn't handle all of your business. And the beginning of the day is the most important. It's kind of like breakfast is the most important meal of the day. The beginning of your day is the most important part of your day because that's when you got the most energy. That's when you're the most focused. You got to wake up and really be focused and ready to handle business so that you can have the rest of the day off. And once you do that, I promise you, if you dedicate time to yourself, if you dedicate the focus to your mission, I promise you, it's going to free up so much more free time and you're going to be able to actually sit there in the in the moment. It's what you what you give is what you get, bro. You give all of your effort at the beginning of the day, handle all of your business, then you're going to be able to really soak in and be focused and appreciate 
the moments at the end of the day where you get to relax. If this helped you out, if you actually use these tips that I gave you in today's videos, I could dive a lot deeper, but I kind of want to keep everything surface level. And as I see what videos do better, we'll go from there. If you use these tips and they are helpful, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and go down to the comment section. Let me know what you thought about this. If it helped, come back to the video, go to the comment section and let me know that it helped you. And if you got any other topics you want me to talk about, let me know. I got a lot more content coming soon. I'm probably going to do some vlogging here soon now that I'm getting my life situation a little bit better. Um, but yeah, we on it, man. I appreciate all the love on the, on the last videos, on the last couple videos, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.